Deadly triple shooting claims the life of a 17 year old girl. Family members telling us she was the niece of Miami rapper Trina. The gunfire also striking two other victims who drove themselves to the hospital. CBS 4's Deborah Suverine is there. And Deborah, what else have you learned? Well, Maribel, family members tell us the 17 year old victim was shot and killed at the scene of this shooting. They tell us that she was a student here, a local student here in South Florida, and she was excited about starting her senior year of high school just a few weeks from now. Now, there were two other people at the scene who were also shot. They're here at JMH. We're told they're still recovering. At approximately midnight, um, shots rung out. Our shot spotter alert went off and multiple 911 calls did as well. Chopper 4 shows the scene from above as officers marked each piece of evidence they found outside of this apartment unit along Northwest 13th Avenue in 62nd Street early Wednesday morning. According to family, the 17-year-old victim who family and friends called Sugar was leaving a corner store and walking towards this neighborhood when gunshots rang out. The officers arrived. What they found was that there was a woman who was suffering from apparent gunshot wounds. Detectives say two others who were also wounded took themselves to the hospital. And nearly two hours after that shooting, police found this black SUV with shot out windows along Northwest 86th Street and 12th Avenue. You can see a shattered back windshield and side passenger window. Motive behind the shooting remains under investigation. We do know that the woman who was pronounced deceased on the scene um, was there visiting. She didn't live um, in that precise area, but there's a lot that we're still trying to figure out. There's an additional scene that could be related also um, to the shooting, but we're still trying to figure a lot out. Just a really heartbreaking story, and police need help with this case. Anyone with information is urged to contact Miami police. You could also reach out to Miami Dade Crime Stoppers if you would prefer to remain anonymous. Reporting from JMH, I'm Deborah Suverain, CBS 4 News.